Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com and we're in the Marion Smith Designs booth and I'm actually here with Marion Smith. Hey. Hi. <laughs> and you've got uh, this whole new thing. I heard about it from somebody else. So there may be a little bit of buzz going around this there color lab. It is. It's been crazy. What is the Color Lab? It's a new pigment paint system and it's a DIY paint system. So what you do is this is the base to all the color paints that you ever want to make, no matter what medium you're using. So if you're using like a matte medium or a white acrylic paint or white oil paint or resin, you could mix these colors in with those to make any color you want. So basically the kit comes with um, five color pigments that have no shine to them or sparkle and those colors will make all of these colors that you see on the board plus some. So whatever you can come up with in a recipe, it, it can make that color. So that entire board up and down yes. with all the, re and you have the recipes included in the kit. Yes, there's 30 recipes that come in the recipe book in the kit and it shows you how to scoop them. It comes with a little scoop and you just follow the recipe and you can make any of those colors. And a lot of people, we have a Facebook group now for Color Lab and they share recipes that they came up with on their oh, own, yeah. so that's fun. And then it also comes with um, three sparkling pigments in gold, aqua, and pink. So you can make it like a sparkly mist if you want to. And it also comes with three of our new trigger sprayer bottles. And these are really, really cool because they have a locking feature. So if you have little kids or you're gonna take it on the go, you don't have to worry about your bottle spraying or opening up in your bag. And then you just open it up whenever you want it to spray again. And these are really cool because they don't clog. So we have a really large straw in there so that they won't clog, which is nice. Awesome. Okay, so you are gonna, maybe, maybe we're gonna, were we gonna spray? Let's make a mist, yeah. Let All me right. get, um, I've got a mini sprayer because we have these mini spray bottles too. So we'll make a mini one and we'll follow a recipe that's in here. So let's see. What color do you think we should do? Let's do that lily. Lily? Okay, that's the easy one. So this one says 3P. So 3 times P, that's 3 pink. And if you look right here, it'll, it'll tell you how to measure. And you always want to go in level scoops. So one full level scoop would be this one here and then a half scoop and then a speck. And the best way to describe a speck would be like two sesame seeds on your spoon. So really, really teeny amount. And this recipe calls for three scoops of pink. Um, so that's this one here. And with this, this is a sparkling pigment. So with the sparkling pigment, you don't have to really worry about it being level. Oh. The only thing you really want to make sure you're measuring correctly is the color pigment. Okay. So these are the color pigments and then these are sparkling pigments. And then it calls for just one speck of magenta. So that would be like the teeniest amount of pigment, like about that much. And I would have, there's no way to know that that's magenta without the lid or something. Yeah, right? so I always take the lids off and I put them right next to the jar. Okay. Because they're super concentrated. Oh. So this goes a really, really long way. Wow, look at that already. Oh my gosh. Let's that's see. awesome. Yeah, and then you just, takes a little bit to get the water going in there. And then you can spray your flowers. And if you wanted this to be a little bit darker in the center, then you could just add more color pigment. Oh. So if I added a little bit more, and let's try a little bit of red to make it a little bit more of a coral color in that cool. center. And then, hey, let's go gold too and see what happens. <laughs> so you can really experiment. That gold is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's like glitter when it goes on. It's so nice. <laughs> All right, so you just, did you just kind of improv that or do you have this memorized that that is uh, one that's you've done before? for you, man. I didn't even plan that color. <laughs> I just play around with it. Like, you can't really go wrong. So now I can have a little bit of a darker center in there mm -hmm. instead of just having it all one pasty color. You can even take the pigment if I had my paintbrush here. You could dip it into some of the color and kind of speck it on there while it's still wet. Oh, yeah. Neat. And then it'll bleed in there and you'll get like that speckled flower look. Wow. Yeah. And you can see it's kind of setting and getting darker or something yeah. in the water, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. And well. you can use it with any medium. Like Mod Podge is really fun to play with. I always use the glossy. So if you take some glossy Mod Podge and you dip your brush in there and you just dip it in some of the gold, you can make your own, you know, gold paste. Oh, this had some magenta in there, but that's see how gorgeous pretty that is? though. Yeah. You weren't worried about the Mod Podge getting left behind. Oh, no. No, because no. the pigment sticks to it. As long as you're not like getting huge dollops of it, okay. you should be okay. Wow, yeah. that's really neat. Okay, so this is called Color Lab. Yes, Color Lab by Marion Design Studio. Marion Smith, yeah. Marion, Marion Smith, Smith Designs. designs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, this is Marion and I'm Noelle from paperclipping.com.